Hey everybody, it's me, the Beyond, and let me welcome you guys back to another episode of Pokemon Renegade Platinum. In the last episode, we managed to go through the first gym leader, Rourke, and that actually went a lot better than it should have. I actually only did that battle about once, and then I realized that I needed to um, level or evolve my the two starters that I had to be able to beat it. But oh my god, this fight right here, this one was even worse. She starts off with a level 18 Zubat. It doesn't hold an, uh, an item. It's a naive nature, has inner focus for its ability, and it has Poison Fang, Wing Attack, Toxic, conf and Confuse Ray. So this thing will Toxic you, and then Confuse you, and then you just have to pray that you don't die to it. Com like, just keep com to continuously hitting yourself. Um, when I did this battle, I was like, okay, yeah, I might be like a little underleveled, but oh my god, this, this took me about six attempts to try to do and I did not think it was gonna take me six attempts I, I tried to find different strategies um, this was actually one of the attempts where um, I was supposed to start off with Trakara and I forgot to switch out Growlithe for Trakara so I had to I had to leave Growlithe to take the toxic and then I switched out into Trakara after doing a fire fang um, but I think that ended up working in my favor because because the reason, the fact that Growlithe was poisoned means that I wouldn't get hypnotized later on by another Pokemon. Which I think is what he sends out um, after Zubat in my case. Yeah, his Bronzor. His Bronzor is level 18, has a Citrus Berry for, uh, as an item, his Brave Nature, has Levitate as an ability. So don't think that uh, ground type moves are going to be able to hit it. Remember that Bronzor can either have Levitate or Fireproof, which... Ooh, excuse me. In which fireproof just lowers the effect of the fire type uh, fire type moves. It has hypnosis, extra sensory, gyro ball, and confuse rate. So if you're not already if you're not poisoned already, it's gonna hypnosis you, and it's just really really annoying if you don't have any awakenings. In my case, I typically go through the entire game. Typically, I go through an entire Pokemon game without ever having to use a like awakenings, paralyzed heals, poison heals, because that, and it, it typically never happens to me, you know? But in this case, I learned that I probably want to start buying the, some of those things and having them like in bulk in my bag. Um, same, thankfully, Eric, the Growlithe, is able to fire fang it to death. I think it was like two hits, two about two to three hits. Um, the Citrus Berry made it, little, made it, you know, live a little bit longer, but it's okay. Now, this thing right here, it's freaking Mars's Pro Ugly. The star of the show is a beast. It's level 19. It has a citrus berry as an as an item. It's jolly nature, has thick fat for an ability, and it has fake out, hypnosis, covet, and faint attack. Um, I, actually, that uh, the covet as its uh, one of its attack is completely wrong because when I fought it multiple times, it actually has facade. Um, which is an odd move for it to have because it can't unless you poison or like burn it. It's you. It, the facade makes no sense aside from it being like a high attack a normal type move. Um, so obviously it's gonna fake you out the first time. Um, after that, because you know aside from its appearance, Brugly is actually really fast. Um, it will then hypnosis you and put you to sleep, which is a very bad thing. Which is why I'm happy that uh, Trakara was already poisoned. And I knew it was going to live a um, either a facade or a faint attack, like at least one hit. So I went ahead and used um, Rock Tomb to lower it one speed. That way when Trevor, the Glaceon, came out, it could use Icy Wind again to lower it one more. And I think I should use Icy Wind three times. Or I think I do Icy Wind twice to lower its speed by three levels. And it ends up helping because, believe it or not, my entire team is pretty slow. Aside from Glaceon, Pidgeot, and Growlithe. My uh, my marsh stop is gonna marsh stop is gonna be slow for like the rest of its life. Um, Grotto is gonna be slow for the rest of its life, and poor um, Larvitar is gonna be slow for the rest of its life. Um, I also didn't know that Perugly had thick fat in this game, um, which would which it would explain why Icy Wind and um, Ember, when I tried to go through this battle along like a few times before it, um, it completely makes sense why those two moves were not doing anything. Um, but anyway, my strategy at this point was, um, since I had lowered its speed by three three levels, I knew my Grotto was going to be fast enough to be able to, to you know, outspeed it. At least that's what I hoped. 
Um, even with Grotto's high defense, Facade does almost half damage, which is insane. Um, thankfully, one Razor Leaf and then a Bite is enough to kill this Progly. This Progly is a monster. I can see this Progly being one of the reasons that um, a lot of people lose their Nuzlocks if they ever decide to go through this game as a Nuzlocke, you know? Because um, that Progly is just disgusting. And then finally, um, Mars's last Pokemon is a Yanma. It's level 18. It doesn't have a hold item. It's timid natured, has speed boost for an ability. As its ability, it has Silver Wind, Air Cutter, Detect, and Sonic Boom. Um, as you guys are going to see, uh, I don't know if it's going to always use Detect. It's a, it's a smart idea for it to use Detect because it adds speed boost. So even if it's slower than your fastest Pokemon, after that first speed boost, Yanma is going to outspeed you like nonstop. Um, I actually thought that this Yanma had. Um, a scope lens because it critted me with that air cut. I'm like, what the heck's going on here? Uh, I heal up my Pidgey, uh, my Pidgeotto, uh, if I remember correctly. Um, and then it uses, if I remember correctly, Silverwind um, later on in the battle. And it manages to crit, it manages to crit me too. <laughs> I can't speak, crit me too. And I found it so stupid. Like, like, does this thing have like a freaking item that raises critical chance? But no, it was just, I got super unlucky. The, for that, the, by the fact that Air Cutter and then Silverwind freaking hit me as critical hits. Um, it's actually a little dangerous that it has Sonic Boom too because it does, I think, base 20 damage. And in the beginning of the game, when a lot of Pokemon have like 40 HP, 30 HP, about 50 HP, Sonic Boom is deadly. So I'm actually super happy that it never actually um, used it on me because if not, things would have just gone completely terribly bad. Um, but yeah, that was the entire Mars fight. If you go into this fight, just know that you are in for a heck of a battle. If you need to freaking grind a little bit and you're at least level 20 for all of your Pokemon, if that's what it takes, maybe get a fighting type to easily take out Perugly. Just know that as even though Perugly looks like a big fat cat, um, Perugly has a lot of speed. I think it has like either 90 base speed in this game. I, I don't actually know if Drano um, buffed its speed. Um, but yeah, it's crazy. But anyway, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. And I hope you guys join me as we um, take on Cardania in the next episode. I'll see you guys then. Bye.